Right now at 10 on the Wax, following a cyber attack where $6 million was stolen from New Haven Public Schools, the city says the hackers got access to more than just money. Personal information from hundreds of city employees compromised. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live in New Haven now with more. Hector. Well, city leaders are now informing 404 past and present school employees that their information, such as social security numbers, financial accounts, and insurance information could be compromised. Now, uh, after that, now the city is working to strengthen their cybersecurity. Personal information for hundreds of people could be compromised after $6 million were stolen in a cyber attack on New Haven Public Schools in June of 2023. It is unbelievably unethical and really disheartening that there are people out there that are willing to do this. Mayor Justin Elliker and his administration have now sent letters to the employees who could be affected. Good news is that none of their employees have reported any cases of fraud or identity theft. We don't have any information that that information was used by this person, but because that person had access to it, we want to notify people that some of your personal information um, could have been seen by a bad actor. Elliker says hackers got their hands on the money and information through unauthorized access to city email accounts from June 1st through June 18th of 2023. While well, the city is in the process of recovering about $5 million of the $6 million stolen, they're still trying to figure out who's responsible. And so we've been working with law enforcement to try to identify the people that uh, were involved in this and hold them to account. And you know, while we're making progress, these things take a lot of time, but we're really committed to um, using as much information as possible to bring people to justice. Since the attack, the city has hired an outside forensic company to further analyze the hack and two additional companies to strengthen their cybersecurity on the school and city side. But how can you prevent this attack at your business or on your own personal devices? We spoke with Vahid Bezadan, a computer science professor at the University of New Haven. Multi-factor authentication uh, is uh, one of the principles not reusing passwords, uh, making sure that sensitive information is properly stored. These are some of the main cyber hygiene principles that everyone should be aware of. Now, of those 404 employees, the city is still working to contact about 70 of them. Now, if you feel like you have been or could be compromised by this breach, the city is asking you to call its incident response line. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're live in New Haven tonight. Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.